Hi y'all, I wanted my old desk back, so here she is. I missed her. I just I just missed her so much. But <laughs> you and I have recently gotten into acrylic painting, acrylic markers. Now I know we don't fully know what we're doing. <laughs> we're still trying to figure it out. Sometimes it looks good. Other times it doesn't look too great. I don't love this. I'm not mad, but I don't love it. But I was thinking instead of creating something with the acrylic, what if we simply go back into the old sketchbooks, find the art we do not like, and go over it? One thing about me, I like to look back. I like to see what we've done. I forget all the time. Like the banana bunny girl. Peek. This, I don't know why we don't draw her anymore. Banana tattoos. She's got a t-shirt that says banana. I remember we put a banana on her head. This was peak. But I don't mean the art that I look back and I'm like, beautiful. I mean the art I don't want to show you. I mean this. And I do have to show you the finished product. We do end up covering it because sometimes in the process, it, it looks worse before it can look better. And I just need you to know it's going somewhere. Because <laughs> somewhere in here, I was like, what am I doing? So... <laughs> I would like to make this a series because I have so much art that I stop and I literally say, no one's gonna know I created you. You'll never see a camera. <laughs> instead, instead, <laughs> do y'all do that? Y'all have art that you're just like, yeah, I'll never show anyone. Instead, we can turn it into something we're proud of. <laughs> what? Honestly, I like to think that we gotta do a deep dive. You have to look at your art and say, I don't like you. But why? Why don't I like you? <laughs> and then you just fix the little things that you think aren't quite right. So to me, certain things are immediately pointing off. I don't like the jaw. There's something really chiseled and square going on and, and we need to soften that up. Miku does not have like jaws of steel. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like the jaw of Superman. What was that about? <laughs> And I'm new to acrylic paints, of course, so I like to go in with light colors. When I when I start getting confident from the jump with dark, oh no, we're in a world of surprises. When we go light, we can always go darker later. And I want to reduce those eyebrows. I feel like they were really chonky. They were nitty. I didn't love that. I did not love that. So does it look a little crazy right now? I still think it's an improvement. We're doing all right. Unfortunately, I don't have any acrylics that are the color that she's right now, that tan color. I think that's pretty. I haven't found, haven't found a set that's got something like that. So maybe I'll, maybe I'll peruse, I'll find something. Hopefully something pastel too, that'd be pretty. But you see how I almost erased those eyebrows for real? I did not like how thick they were. So they had to go. This is the first step to liking something. You gotta get rid of everything that you don't like. Her nose, seemed really long cut that in half actually take the whole thing off <laughs> we can just redraw it <laughs> i thought i liked the idea of like smaller eyes and i kind of do but this is the part where i said it's gonna look a little bad before it can get good i don't know what i was thinking i really don't so we're just gonna skip over this part i'm just gonna i'm, I'm gonna speed it up now because i'll spare you you gotta give yourself a little bit of grace do what you gotta do, we will fix it. You know, I think that's part of the reason I'm so into acrylic markers right now. The old medium, which was alcohol markers, you, you know, there's not that much leeway. There really isn't. Acrylics you can paint over, you can start over, you can, you can get rid of the evidence, everything. <laughs> I think it's really hard to feel pressured when everything you do is fixable, honestly. It is fixable. There, this is the least stress. We don't have to fear our art. And then of course I'm just adding little details like darkening the lips and maybe adding more white to the eye. I, I really should make my characters something that I'm interested in is making them more expressive. You know what I'm saying? They're all they are their eyes are never like open wide. Some of you will know what I'm talking about, others will not. They always have this blank face, but they're never super expressive with like like doe eyes almost. Almost like, like they have trust issues. Everyone looks like they're mean girls or like they're guarded. Everyone I draw looks like they've got some level of trauma built in. So, <laughs> oh no. Now between you and me, the main thing that I wanna work on when it comes to acrylics is hair. It's not enough to just do this highlight, the thin level of light in the hair. 
No, thank you. And I think the only person whose hair I actually like with acrylics is Rose Quartz. I keep drawing her and every, other people need attention. Maybe we could do like, like shading, but like darker in certain areas. I know, I know we could take this to the next level. I know we can. How? I'm not sure. I'm not sure just yet, but <laughs> that's something I would love to work on. You know, also, I like the idea of, of painting, but not blending it in. That just seems like the right move. So we've got a little bit of lighter skin under the eyes and we're leaving it just like that. It's, it's pretty, right? Am I wrong? No, no, I dig it. I dig it and I think we're gonna keep it. But we've got to fix her mouth. It's like inky on her chin and I can't, I cannot have it. I cannot have it. So <laughs> maybe we'll add that same color and then go over it with the rest of her skin color because her mouth is just, it's like, it's like her lipstick was staining her chin. And you know what I really want to get into, if I'm being honest, is thumbnailing. I have no idea what I want to do with this hair. And it's so prevalent if we would have thumbnailed, came up with ideas. I feel like I wouldn't be so corrective in my art and I don't really want to do that anymore. And we don't have to. Isn't that insane? I've just been doing it unhappy. I don't have to. It's freeing. It would be less corrected because I would save myself the position I'm in right now. This hair is getting bigger and bigger and bigger. I don't know if you're noticing, the hair is exponentially growing. <laughs> and I'm not sure I like it, but we're still adding it on. So, <laughs> so I'm either about to have to correct this entire thing <laughs> or Miku's about to have like so much. I know her neck hurts from the amount of hair that's on her head right now. Guys, I like putting like black color pencil or color erase in the eye, but it's just so subtle. Can we even, do we even notice? Is this, I just, sometimes when I do stuff, I'm like, can we even tell what we've done? Does it even make a difference? Guys, do you ever remember like your old art styles? I, I used to go crazy for fine liner, black. Black fine liner, I wouldn't put it down. It'd be everywhere. Or I would misuse the gel pen, the white gel pen. Oh my God, there'd be some on the nose, on the side of the cheeks, in the hair, on the neck. I, they were glittery and they were so blackened out with outlining. That's crazy. There's really not enough black in this painting. There's just not. So a spiky black collar, yes, thank you. Put it in her hair as well, what? <laughs> I'd love that. Yes, we're doing it. Maybe make the bangs a little bit longer. That'd be nice. I think that's part of the issue. Now, unfortunately, we create this, this wayward strand right now on her cheek that I just don't think I like, but we've done it. We're sticking with it, I guess. Maybe it'll grow on us. And also we've got to do something with the chin. I feel like her chin is elongated. It's very long. We didn't need all this spacious area there. <laughs> but that's okay. I've got my favorite chunky white marker who is actually, let me put you on real quick. I love this little white little acrylic pen. I guess the people are rayon, rayon? Is that two E's in the name? How do you pronounce that? But this is my favorite. But you must be gentle because he eats paper. He will tear that paper up <laughs> in a heartbeat. <laughs> you gotta watch with the layering. He'll eat it up. You know what the real issue is? I want to draw Bowsette again. And she normally, I put this in her hair. I haven't drawn her in a minute. I think I'm just projecting. Also, you knew I wasn't happy with the hair. We knew I wasn't happy with the hair. It was a matter of time until I did something new to it again. This is why we must thumbnail, to save ourselves from the moment right now. And personally, I still don't think there's enough black. And this is such a trap because I always end up adding a little bit too much. So this time, only on the eyes. We will not outline the entire girl. I've never liked that. For some reason in my head, I'm like, maybe this is the time. It never is. But I think we'll leave it like this, maybe frame the face and that is all. And then we will put them, we'll put this fine liner down. <laughs> I have also added a little bit of white and silver acrylic to the spikes. I wanted them to pop out more. I like to think that it worked. This is good. I'm, I'm happy with this. Remember what we had in the beginning? That was unacceptable, but this, 
I don't mind looking at this. So I'll see you next time, huh? <laughs>